A Tetra Pak pilot plant is a place where our Tetra Pak's customers can come and validate their products before they commercialize it. So our customers come here to test their uh, suite of formulas to take to consumer test panels, to clinical trials, in order to decide which, if any of them, to scale up into production. The facility has been here since 1999. We invested about $6 million to ensure that we have state-of-the-art blending, processing, and packaging capabilities. This pilot plant is, is unique in that we are an FDA-registered food manufacturing facility. And what that does is it gives our clients the comfort level that they need in order to produce here and take it to those diverse places where they're actually handing the, the product across to customers. So we manufacture to a very high level. Product safety and quality is assured and they can be comfortable doing whatever they need to do with the product that comes out of here. The way the pilot plants work is that uh, Tetra Pak owns and operates these facilities. Our customers rent them for the, by the day generally, and uh, we manufacture their products for them for their, for their test purposes. So this is the main blending and processing room of the pilot plant. Our customers will supply the ingredients and we'll bring them in on pallets and skids and so forth. And then we assist our customers blending everything up. We have several different mixing systems and uh, analytical balances and floor scales. We have a nice new Tetra Pak's High Shear Mixer, uh, previously known as an All Mix. And then we have several 400 gallon batch tanks. Our main strength here is that we can make a 100 gallon batch, but we can go up to a uh, 400 gallon batch. Once the, the product is blended up, it'll go into the processing equipment. All the processing equipment is new. This was put in in quarter one of uh, 2016. And we have steam injection and tubular. The uh, processing system is very flexible. It was designed like a bunch of Legos. So we can put the processing system together in several different configurations. We can run anything from uh, premium orange juice all the way up to very dense, high, high specific gravity products. This is the processing control center. We have a, a very modern touchscreen HMI system with electronic data recording, which is uh, FDA compliant for electronic data collection and review. Everything is on variable frequency drives and uh, it's very, very flexible. You can see we have a Jumo chart recorder there that's electronically collecting the data. Uh, that data can be printed off or just uh, retained electronically and, and maintained that way. This location here is, uh, is where we watch all of the critical factors and adjust anything as needed. This is a Tetra Pak homogenizer. We have two of these. One is upstream, one is downstream. The one on the downstream side, of course, is aseptic with steam seals on the pistons. Both of these homogenizers have a maximum working pressure of 4,000 PSI, and they're two-stage, so they're very flexible. We can uh, adjust the uh, homogenization of pressure to whatever our clients like. Once the product is processed, it'll go into our 1,000-gallon Tetra All Safe and that's a sterile holding tank in between the processing and the filling machine. This is a conical bottom, high pressure, sterile tank with also with high pressure valves on the bottom. And this can handle viscous, heavy products and can also handle particulates. So this is the A3 Compact Flex filling machine. This machine is a 330 milliliter Tetra Prisma with Dreamcap. This machine runs at 9,000 packages per hour. The packaging material is sterilized on the second floor of the machine and rolled into a tube. Then the product is filled into that tube and the sets of jaws pinch that tube off into packages. When the packages leave the jaws, that is a hermetically sealed container. The product is aseptic, there's no microbes in the product and the uh, package will stay sterile until the consumer opens it up. The rest of the filling machine is there in order to fold the corners over and make a nice pretty package. When the packages come out of the filling machine, they uh, go through a couple of uh, air jets in order to clean the water off. And then it will go through an inkjet coating machine that, that codes a unique product identifier on each package. Each individual package is also given a sequence number, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, uh, so that we can tell which, where in the run each individual package is located. The cap applicator glues the caps on top of the Tetra Prisma package. The machine picks up each individual cap and aligns it and then puts a very precise layer of glue on the cap and then transfers the cap onto the package. When the uh, package exits the cap applicator, it's ready to be used by the consumer. And this is the cardboard packer. This lines up 18 packages at a time and puts it into a cardboard container. Those cardboard containers are then manually palletized on a standard pallet. That pallet is wrapped up, stored, and once quality control is finished, this will be shipped to our customer. This is the pilot plant micro lab. Here is where we test the uh, product before we process it for certain things like pH and total solids and viscosity. And then we also analyze the finished product in here. 
to ensure that we have commercial sterility. So we have several different testing methods that we have for commercial sterility, including plating. We also have a rapid detect Celsius method, and we do incubation for about a week and pHing. We do full package integrity analysis on every trial that we do in order to ensure that our customers can be very confident that they have a commercially sterile product when they leave the pilot plant. Tetra Pak takes this facility very seriously. We've invested quite a bit of money in it. We run it very professionally, and we try to provide a really, really good experience for them as well to grease the skids of innovation and make sure their commercialization process goes smoothly.